Hey, Dale the Librarian here. Um, I should type in my email address. Um, I'm going to show you uh, a graphical user interface for census data um, and other maybe like business populations, also in health data, COVID-19, political maps, etc. But it's in a um, kind of a Google Mapsy sort of an interface. So if you go to databases, go to S and go to Social Explorer. This is a database we have hidden. Um, there are pre-built maps and data sets that you can look at, like crime data and things like this. Um, a fun one is Opportunity Zones. I've heard that Utah is interested in redeveloping a part of State Street, um, so they're calling it Opportunity Zones. For what it's worth, um, let's go to the United States. There's a bunch of uh, Democrat uh, like login things where you can prepare reports and you can interact with the statistical data. I'm just going to do the graphical side of things. When you click on Explore, it puts you into a map of the United States. There's like a little Hawaii and a huge Alaska over yonder. This is, uh, it dumps you in by population. You can see what data set you're looking at. Um, we're looking at, oh, sorry, American Community Survey. If you can change data, um, you can go back to census gathering from uh, governments or the federal government, um, depending on the era. Um, and a lot of this is just freely accessible in statistical tables, but here you can see it graphically. So let's zoom in to Utah. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It goes by county, but when you go in far enough, it turns into census, census tracts, um, which I'm not quite sure what the criteria for those are, um, but it's not necessarily zip code. Uh, but here you can see um, Salt Lake City, and you can see all the places that people live. And here's the growing Tooele, here's Grantsville, and here's, I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, but you can change the data, and you can look at like income level, marital status, ancestry, um, yada, 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 yada. Religion, presidential elections, that's a fun one. Um, but how do we do comparisons with all of these? I'm glad you asked. Um, I want to see Tooele and Grantsville. How fast have they grown? So I'm going to zoom in. So I'm just looking at Tooele and Grantsville. And then I go up here. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. And by default, the maps are locked together. So I think there's a way where you could compare, um, say, for example, if you wanted to compare um, Savannah, Georgia with Salt Lake City, you could do that. But just for the sake of argument, let's see what it looked like back in the day. So let's go show all years. I want to go back to 1980. How much has Tooele and Grantsville grown since 1980? Go to population, population density per square mile. Um, and this is how you could draw a comparison. You could do screen captures. There's ways of downloading these things. So it looks like Grantsville, there wasn't much going on. Uh, but in the last few years, there's been a lot of growth. And you can also see West Valley, or what became Daybreak is really big. Oh, cool, it even mouses over the appropriate county on the other side. <laughs> and it gives you the, the data sample for that um, idea. For what it's worth, this is worth mucking around in. If you want more advanced tutorial, uh, if you go to YouTube, there's a, lots of extensive tutorials on this, but I just wanted to let you know that this is available.